Gradients are paints composed of two or more position-dependent colors with a smooth blending transition in between. Like solid colors, you can use gradients as paints for fills and strokes on layers or objects. We can apply gradients in Figma by first selecting a layer and then navigating to the fill or stroke options within the properties panel. Let's start by changing this fill from a solid color to a linear gradient. A linear gradient is where all colors in the gradient align in a straight line. This is the most common type of gradient. We can adjust each of the colors by clicking on a stop and adjusting the color value. We also need to update the color of the rightmost stop to make sure the gradient's colors don't blend. Below, you will find the transparency value of a stop. If we want a soft edge, we need the transparency of the rightmost stop to be zero, which is the default when switching from a solid fill to a gradient. You can choose where you want your gradient to begin and end by adjusting the stop. Click anywhere on the slider to add a new stop. Gradient controls are also displayed on the canvas. Use these handles to adjust the length or rotate the angle of a gradient. If we want to delete a stop, click on the stop and then hit delete or backspace. Radial gradients originate from a single center point and spread outwards in all directions from the center. This additional handle is for a non-uniform scale that can be used to make the gradient thinner or wider. Angular gradients progress in a clockwise direction from a single point. The end of the gradient will meet the beginning stop after traveling a full 360 degrees. Last is the diamond gradient. Diamond gradients are a lot like radial gradients. Both originate in the center and move outwards, except diamond gradients are in the shape of a diamond rather than a circle. The four gradient types, linear, radial, angular, and diamond, have their own distinct looks and uses. To keep your gradients from being too visually harsh, use analogous or similar colors for your stops. After taking the time to dial in your perfect gradient, be sure to save it as a style so you can reuse it in other places.